What it do, what it do, it's your boy Jay Long, and right now you checking out blessedbeats.com. Miff 10, what up? Don't tell nobody I beat you in the pool, man. See y'all new 93.7 beat that he sounds real hip hop and R&B, and welcome to Blessed Beats. Got a former, I guess I call you a teen pop star. Oh man, come on. <laughs> Jay Long, formula, formerly a pretty Ricky in the building. What's happening, bro? What it do? What it do? Man, ain't seen you in a while. Man, look, man, I've been hibernating, man. You know, major, major, major comeback, though. We got some things on the horizon. And we got you right here on Blessed Beats. Want to take you, take everybody down memory lane and talk about where you from, how you got with Pretty Ricky, you know, stories behind the scenes of Pretty Ricky, and then how why we here today, all right? All right, let's so, do it. So, Pretty Ricky. Pretty Ricky. Who is Pretty Ricky? <laughs> Pretty Ricky is 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 the new school Jodeci, just like that. The Jodeci and H Town balled into one pot. Yeah. And that's that's what Pretty Ricky is. And there's got to be a lot of women looking at this right here on blessedbeats.com, 937thebeathouston.com, listening to it on the podcast. And like, I used to love Pretty Rick. I loved yeah. all of them. It's crazy. How old were you when you when in that era, the Pretty Ricky era? Man, I got Pretty Ricky probably around the time I was like 21. Okay. It was I I I joined. I wasn't original. I wasn't a, an original member. Right. I came right out the Pleasure P left. Okay, so what year are we talking? Uh, probably like 08. 08, Pretty Ricky at his height. They doing scream tours. They got right. women. They ain't going to say women. They got girls. All that. Women too, you, yeah. that's safe to say. Okay. But Pleasure P leaves. Pleasure P leaves. What were you doing at this time? Around the time when Pleasure was in the group, I was... Uh, me and my uh, my my son's mother. She was pregnant at the time. Okay, and, uh, you was, was an artist. I was an artist. Okay, a struggling artist. Okay. You got to put that struggling in there. Okay, trying yeah. to figure things out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and um, just trying to find my way. Okay, I had my sidekick. I was sitting in my car, man. and I had my sidekick, and I get a a, a blast. That well, says, you, when you say you had your sidekick, now we say oh, hey, a so phone, you, a phone, like, a phone, phone, phone. The phone it's some sidekick. like a sidekick. A sidekick. Yeah. Side yeah. So what is he talking about? But go ahead. Yeah, I had my phone, my sidekick, and yeah. I, I got a blast that said, "Pretty Ricky looking for another member." Okay. So you know what I'm saying? Uh, I was like, "Yo, I need to get in contact with these dudes," and it was impossible, even though they said they was looking for a member. Wait. Where's Pretty Ricky from? Well, I mean, Pretty, you, Dade County, Miami. They from Miami, and I'm I'm in, I'm from Lamarck, Texas. You a Texas boy? You Texas right up the boy, road, born and raised. You sit in the car, sitting in the car, man. and a blast goes out. Blast goes out. Pretty and immediately you say, "Man, I got to get in this group some kind of way," because well, you, I always got compared to them anyway. Okay. So you know what I'm saying? I knew that if I got in that situation, it'd be good for me. At the time, you you a struggling artist. Struggling. Nobody really knows J Long. Not re no. And in your head, you gonna go from nobody know me to I'm I'm about to get in pretty, pretty Ricky. Ricky. Just like that. Take us how you get into the group. Well, I tried to Google, okay, and find contacts and okay. try to get an audition or however that process went. My, you know, I didn't know how the process went. Right. You know, like I say, I wasn't even in the industry for real, for real at the time. Okay. So I prayed about it. You know what I'm saying? Some some hit my heart and said, pray about it. Pray about getting in a secular group secular like group. Oh, man. Okay. It gets better. Stay well, with God me. God work, dog. No, stay, stay with me, people. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I prayed about it, and um, I wouldn't end up getting with them until some months later. This, uh, I had totally forgot about the prayer. How, Put it but that no, way. what? what How did you I'm get? I'm finna tell you. Okay. So I totally forgot about the prayer. The prayer was whatever. It ain't gonna work. It is what it is. Okay. I created this song called Berry Love. Barry Love. Barry Love. And Barry Love was my first regional hit. Okay. Barry Love literally blew up overnight down south and Online, on the radio? On what? radio. I okay. got a I got it. my space was popping. Okay. I get a I get a <laughs> I get a message from a girl. Okay. Her name is Whitney. Shout out to Whitney if you see this. She became one of my good friends. Okay. I get a message from a girl and she says, I heard your your song last night. In Birmingham, Alabama. Nice. Huntsville, Alabama. I'm sorry. Okay. Joe Ski. Shout out to Joe Ski. Okay. Uh, I heard your song on the radio last night. And I'm just like, 
nah, you didn't hear my song on the radio last uh, night. Like, okay. I ain't on no radio. Like, you right, know right. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. she was like, nah. What's in your top five on your MySpace? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> see, and see, the thing about it was, <laughs> she said, yes, Barry Love, because, it, you know, you used to make the songs your profile. You can put right, songs exactly. on your profile. Yeah. So I knew she knew the correct song. Right. But she, I was like, man, she gassing me up. You know, my record went on the radio last night. Yeah, she's night. trying to be number one yeah, on yeah, your, you feel your me? top friends so list. So I did some research, and um, a guy by the name of T.C. Tompkins, he's actually from Houston. Okay. And um, he actually does uh, radio. You know, he 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 specializes in that, and he, can, he does research on radio. And I ain't know the guy. Just like I say, I did my research on right. how to find out if that was true. Okay. I called him, and he was like, Boy, they spinning the mess out this record, blah blah blah. And oh, wow. I was like, "Really? Yeah." So you ain't getting nothing for it. You just on the radio. I was just on. I didn't even know. I literally didn't know this song was wow. on the radio. Wow. Uh, we shot the video, and that's how the song got popular. Boomtown, you know, okay. one of the yeah. biggest directors down south. He came and shot the video, and and everybody wasn't doing music at the time, so it wasn't so saturated. Right. You know what I'm saying? It right. wasn't some. You know, I I got a good look. Okay. You know, and we weren't really paying attention to views back in the day. Right. So. The video having 70,000 views in a couple of days, we didn't really... That didn't really mean it, nothing back then. It didn't then. mean nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Wow, but crazy. if you actually think about that, right. yeah. you know, you talking three, four days, it went from zero to 70,000. That's 000. before people were saying the term viral. But yeah. There you go. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So uh, somebody was listening to the record. A lot of people was listening to the record and it caught wind in Alabama and it's crazy how it skipped Texas and went somewhere Where else. else. Right. But it gets better. You know, God got a plan. Right. I end up hooking up with this guy TC and he was like man I think you got a real record okay so we start spreading the, re the record out and we start servicing it to other radio stations okay it start catching on right I get a call from Universal I'm in Baton Rouge I'm on tour I get a call from Universal on your own tour on my own tour I'm on a promo tour it's crazy okay I get a call from Universal and I don't know how they got my number I'm not making this up bro I don't know how they yeah. got my number yeah and they was just like we're looking for the J Long guy who sings the Barry Love, his okay. representation. I was like, this is him. Okay. They was like, well, can you send us an MP3 in the bio of the song? I didn't even know how to send an MP3 at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I sent a WAV file. Okay. And the guy, he calls me back. He's like, I need an MP3. Okay. So I was like, man, whatever. I totally didn't send it. I was just like, whatever. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. 8060. Okay. And so I stayed on my little tour, and I was on a tour with a, with a guy named Teddy T., Okay. He's from Miami too. So we end up going to this we we end up getting to this club in in man it's in Florida. I'm trying to remember if it's Tampa. I just know it's Cloud Club Moon. Okay. That's where they break a lot of records set out there, okay. okay? So we're in this club called Club Moon and I'm standing there. Nobody really knows my face, but they know the record. Right. So I'm standing there and I look to my left and I was a huge Pretty Ricky fan. Okay. So I was a huge Pretty Ricky fan. I, okay. I turned to the left and I see Slick from Pretty Ricky. Right. I noticed his dreads first. He yeah. had him sticking straight <laughs> up. Yeah. And I look to the left and I say, hey, yo, that's Slick from Pretty Ricky. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to walk up to him and introduce myself. And as soon as I'm going to introduce myself, he say, yeah, what up, Barry Love? So I was like, he know me? Nice. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, what's up, Barry Love? Yeah. And he walked off. So I was like, so I seen Speck. So same I club, say, same night. Same, same night. Yeah. And he was standing in the DJ booths. Okay. So I was like, man, I'm finna go walk up and introduce myself. One of them know me. Right. All of them gotta know me. Right. So I walk up on Speck. I'm like, yo, what's up, man? You know, I'm feeling myself now. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what's up, Speck? How you doing, man? Yeah. He look at me, he reach in his pocket, he give me a business card. And he say two words to me. Wow. He give me a business card. He brought me back down to size. And then he looked at me like, Get away from me. Like, who are you? Yeah, right. Like, get away from me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then I met Diamond. He did the same thing. Okay. He swerved on me. Okay. And I was just like, okay, this ain't how I thought this was going to go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. One of them just called me Mr. Barry Love. Right. Now, you know, they kind of shaking this on me. This is prior to the term we call people haters. But exactly. go ahead. Exactly. Okay. So, um, to make a long story short, I go back to my, my role manager. Okay. I tell my role manager, I was like, hey, man, Pretty Ricky in here, man. You know, can you, you know what I'm saying? I think we should do something with him. You know what I'm saying? How long, how long from the time that they're looking for a member to this time that they... they now, you talking about, it was a couple months when I was on the road. Now, you talking eight to nine months now. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Coming so, up on a year. A year later. A year later. Okay. All right. So I go to my role manager, Teddy T, and I'm like, Teddy, man, you know, we got to do something with Pretty Ricky. I got to get on tour with them. I got to do something, man. Can you make it shake? Can you, can you, you know, go talk to their people? Right. And this dude literally looked at me. He said, who? Them? But you want to meet them? Yeah. Them my little nephews. Come on, man. Stop. So, bruh. This, and, and it's crazy because the clip is on YouTube. Okay. He walks me up to them, literally. He walks up to Diamond. And Diamond, that's my brother. I love him, man. Uh, his name is Baby Blue. That's my brother. I love him. I'm going to interrupt you right there. Uh, Jay Long, formerly of Pretty Ricky in the building on blessedbeats.com. The clip is on YouTube. Let's go to the clip right now. 937 to beat Houston.com. Jay Long in the building. Blessedbeats.com. 937 to beat Houston.com. Video clip on YouTube. It's on YouTube. He literally walks up to these guys. Right. And he tells them what he's going to do. It's crazy. He was like, hey, Blue, this Jay Long, y'all finna get on the road with him. Y'all need to hook up. Y'all need to do something with him. Wow. Caption and on this video Blue, we just saw. Yeah. Blue just like, all right. And next thing you know, it was the Pretty Ricky Jay Long tour. I'm on tour with them. It literally happened like that. Okay. So you you on tour mm -hmm. with them. You getting to know them. They say you're a cool cat. You thinking they cool. When did they say, man, dog, you in the group? When they seen what happened when I got on stage. Okay. The reaction, the fan reactions, they was like, all right, I think we got a real star on our hand. And next thing you know. Had they still been looking for a year for somebody? They had. They had replaced somebody. He left. They replaced somebody. It just right. wasn't it really. Okay. It didn't fit the, the brand. All right. So and now we're at the point. Did they introduce you to the crowd? That's That's what happened. They kind of threw me to the wolves. We was in Longview, Texas. Okay. And we almost was doing the show. Almost hometown. Yeah. And see, that's where they messed up. Because okay. I had a, a huge fan base in Longview. Okay. But we played it cool. Okay. And that clip on YouTube, too, my first show I ever did with Pretty Ricky. Okay. It was like, right, man, yeah, we just going to see. We're going to test the waters and see what happened. Right. Now, if you watch the clip, I don't say one word. I walk on stage. I roar the building down. I wow. I didn't even open my mouth yet. Wow. Roar the building down. By the time we got off stage, we go back to the dressing room. Blue was just like, all right, man, it's on. You in the group. And that's how it happened. All right, so you go from being unknown, Jay Long, mm -hmm. to the newest member of, at the time, one of the hottest groups out. Mm -hmm. How did life change for you? Oh, man, it got crazy, man. I mean, definitely money change. Okay. Um, Went from an apartment to owning my own home. Nice. Went from one car to five cars. Okay. Uh, it was definitely crazy. Yeah. It, it got crazy. How was your spirit, man? At this point, were you were you were you still humble? You lost your mind? No. 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 Humble didn't. Humble didn't exist. Talk talk real quick to the artist that's that's out there grinding right now, trying to get it. Tell them. Give them that inside. What you was feeling? You got it now. Boom. I got it. This is what these artists, they every day. They this is what they grinding about. Right. And this happened to you. Right. How, tell them about how your like how how can you get engulfed into this? Like, well, how see, dangerous is this? It, it's it's very dangerous because. But let's first say, let's let's first say I, I am a man of God, so God has a plan. Right. And he's guiding my footsteps. Right. And at the time I don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm thinking it's all Jay Long. Right. And God give it and he take it away. Where? Okay. You feel me? Yeah. But at the time, it's about me. Yeah. Uh next to me, one of my closest cousins. Mm -hmm. You can ask them how cocky I got. Kick them, man, I don't need y'all, man. Yeah. You feel me? I went from, I'm 20, 23, what, 24 years old. I got a million dollars now. Wow. I don't need nobody. Yeah. I can buy friends. I can buy what I need. I can do, and that's that was my attitude. Yeah. When you would get to yourself, was it ever a sense of, man, I don't even have a grip on this thing? You know what? That's, that, that, that's the lie I told myself, and that I would never allow myself to be alone. Mm. I always had to have somebody, somebody around, with, yeah. around me. So I wouldn't have those moments of feeling convicted. And yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, I, sh I shot away from that. 
but my spirit was speaking to me a lot but you yeah. know what i'm saying and, and i was just like i was ignoring it man all right so you got money now a lot you got fame now a lot you got girls now a lot you got hanger owners a, a, a whole lot all right fast forward okay you came into this thing as a solo artist solo now you rolling with pretty ricky Every day. The business side had to kick in now. You got your own money, you got your own name. What are we taking this J Long thing? Are we gonna ride this pretty Ricky thing out? Was the wave could you feel the wave of pretty Ricky ending? I did. Okay. I did. And um like I say, what I felt and what I thought, it was all in God's plan. Mm hmm I remember being on tour. I was in Memphis My hometown. <laughs> Go ahead. Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. It's crazy. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That just hit me. Man. Wow. Okay. I was in Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. And it was flooding real bad. Okay. And I think this was around the time the Grizzlies was actually, they were playing uh, in the playoffs. I can't remember who that, I think they were playing OKC maybe. Okay. And uh, I remember being at the hotel because we had an event to, to attend, but we couldn't attend it. Actually, I do remember this because downtown flooded. I do remember this. It was yeah. flooded. That was okay. So you're right. And so we were, um, I remember uh, just being in my hotel. Mm -hmm. My road manager came to me. And he was like, yeah, boy, you you own now. Yeah. Because I had went solo again. Okay. Started doing my own solo thing outside of the group. Was it a rift in the group or? It definitely was. I was feeling myself, man. Okay. And you oh, know so you the newest dude, and now you feeling yourself. Well, I had been with him now for about two years. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying. I I want it all. The newness done wore yeah, off. It don't new, yeah. it done wore off, man. I'm I start feeling myself like, man, I don't really need this. You right. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. I'm new kid on the block. Everybody checking for me. I'm gonna go do this by myself. Right. So I had this record with Lil Webby. Okay. And me and Webby, you know, I, you know, he did the verse, and I started working the record. Okay. So whenever I wasn't doing Pretty Ricky business, I'd be doing J Long business on the side. Gotcha. Because I felt myself getting ready to break apart. Okay. So we in Memphis, Tennessee, doing our own thing, and uh, I kept my same role manager for my solo stuff. Right. And man, um, couldn't go nowhere. Event got canceled. And at this event, I was supposed to meet some very, very important people okay. that was about to put a very big check in my pocket mm. and get it rolling. Mm. So everything is shut down. It's a Waffle House literally in front of my hotel. I can't even walk to the Waffle House. It's so much water outside. Okay. State of emergency type stuff. Yeah, I remember. So, um, man, it was that that night. My manager came in my room. He was like, yeah, boy, it's home. You, okay. You about to get it. Yeah. He, he's about to get real serious right now. You know, it's about to go to a whole nother level. Okay. I was like, I bet. I went back in my room I'm to myself, man, and that's when he hit me. God came right in there. <sighs> go home. Did you, you go home? Listen, go home. And I mean now, how am I going to get home? It's flooding outside. You hearing this in your head? You ain't. And I'm, man, listen, bro. You not inebriated or none of this? Listen, listen. I don't, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't do none of that. Right. Go home. Go home. Now, to somebody, that might sound crazy. Yeah. But the word of God say, my, my sheep know my voice. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And I was raised, I was raised in the church. I was raised in the church. Go home. Go home. Bro, you got five cars. Five. Dog, you in Pretty Ricky. Pretty Ricky. Dog, you got the world. You in a whole, you, I'm assuming you in a nice hotel. You got. Man. Go home. Go home. When? Not, when, the, when the water go down? No. Right now. Go home. Did you fight this? Man, it was so real, I couldn't. Yeah. I didn't know how I was going to get home. Yeah, yeah. But let's just fast forward and say I ended up getting home 13 hours later. Mm. Through the flood waters, yeah. through all that. State of emergency. Yeah. Nobody's supposed to be on the road. Go home and do what? It's yeah. over. I didn't get no more instruction for him at that time. Go home. Nice. That was my instruction. That was it. And you don't know what's supposed to happen tomorrow. I don't know. So I I get back I get back to Texas, man. And I knew it was because of the lifestyle I was living. Right. As I was going home, he told me, God was like, I gave you what you asked for. Scale to one to ten. Ten being the highest. Mm-hmm. What kind of lifestyle you were living? Oh, man. You're going to say 12. 
a hundred. <laughs> Not a hundred. I mean, because we a hundred. We run saying that pretty Ricky was pretty Ricky, bruh. Yeah. Uh, hey, y'all go you ahead. Heard go, the to the, go to the next time. Pull us all pretty Ricky. But go ahead. Okay, go ahead. But I get home. Yeah. And as I'm going home. You know, he's constantly speaking to my spirit. Yeah. I told you, I forgot about that time I was sitting in my car. Mm. And I asked to be in Pretty Ricky. Man. I forgot about that. Yeah. He said, I gave you what you asked for. Yeah. But it wasn't for what you wanted. For what he wanted. It's for what he wanted. You and forgot you about you totally it. abused it. Yeah. Those guys need to hear about Christ. It's but a, at the time, you didn't even know. I, I knew. I, I knew before I got in the situation. Yeah. see. That money, that fame, all that blinded me, bro. Yeah, for sure. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it blinded for sure. me. But like I say, God got a plan. Okay. Because they they saw me in that light. Yeah. And I fast forward. It took me four years, man. God set me on the sideline for four years. And this is where you at right now. This is where I'm at right now. Blessbeast.com, Jay Long in the building, giving us the history of Pretty Ricky, telling us how he broke away from the top of his game. More of that when we come back right here on BlessBeats.com. Jay Long in the building, formerly a pretty Ricky, telling us his story, BlessBeats.com. All right, four years, you done, You went home. I went home, and God set me down in the si- on the sideline for four years. Yeah. And this is where he started to mold me into the man he wanted me to be. What is the world saying at this time? What is your group member saying? Oh what is your mom gosh, saying? Man. What is your gal saying? Man, you, yo. Bro, bro it. I want to say that was one of the roughest yeah. times in my life. You found out who's really in your corner. Bruh, I'm just going to put it out there. I went from a big house yeah. to homeless. Literally. Literally. I went from five cars yeah. to sleeping in one car. That's what you had when you came in it. But yeah. Okay. Sleeping in the car. Bruh, it, it literally had to start from ground zero. Now you talking about being humble. Yeah. Because your people know your face now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Know, yeah. You talking about. A humbling situation. When God give you opportunity to humble yourself, go and take it. Because if He got to humble you, yeah. it's not gonna be a pleasant yeah. experience. It's yeah. not gonna be a pleasant experience. I'm a believer. I believe that. So I'm going through my first. Let me humble you. Right. Phase. Okay. Let me show you how fast I can bless you, but how fast I can take it back away. Right. Right. Because you out here thinking this is about you. Right. Bro, this ain't about you. Mm-hmm. It ain't about you. Yeah. It's crazy. So, yeah, that I mean, I'm in my car. Um, friends that I had, gone. Wow. What well, friends you thought you had? The friends thought I had, yeah. gone. Yeah. Uh, I had ruined the, 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 the relationship I had with my family, my cousins. We all close. Yeah. We blood cousins. Our mothers are sisters. Same wow. mothers, same, wow. same fathers yeah. type stuff. Kinfolk, yeah. You kinfolk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, they were out of my life, and th- these are the guys who were real with me. They keep it real with me. Right. Hey, man, you slipping. You messing up right now. Right. I ain't had it. Right. They were gone. I look around. Some of the people I thought, well, what are you doing home? Man, God told me. To, so God came from the sky and told you I got started getting mocked. I got yeah. called stupid. Yeah. Man, you crazy. All that started yeah. coming into play. Especially right? when your family seeing money. Exactly. So all that started coming into play, and... Here I am, man. I'm kind of just like, God, was that you I heard or did I really just mess up my career? Yeah. Yeah. And this was my test. I was going through a test. Okay. Because God gave me the instruction. But I'm I'm gonna say when you going through a test, like when you were at school going through a test, when once had a teacher ever just shouted out the answers while you were taking your test. The teacher is quiet. Yeah. So as I'm going through my test, God is quiet. Quiet. Yeah. I've gave you instruction. Right. And my instruction was for you to go home. And that was it. Now you home, I ain't giving you no more instructions Man. until I'm ready. Yeah. So, so you you lost you you at this point you don't know I don't know what to you do. You don't know what to do. I'm you, I'm just home. But you know, you know one thing, you know how to put music out. True. You never once said you just sit here where you it, lost. I tried. Yeah. And it wasn't that because I wasn't released to do that. Yeah. I wasn't released to do that. God wasn't releasing me to make no music right now, man. Stay long in the building. Blessbees.com. Now, your faith has grown. Right. I'm hearing it through you. I'm hearing it through your voice, right? Right. right. Is this from that experience? Of or were course. you always okay? Of course, man. Like I say, it took me four years yeah. to get to this point. Yeah. 
I walked around the wilderness for four years, but I learned in the wilderness. I got closer to God mm -hmm. and I start having these dreams. Okay. Now, I haven't seen or spoken to any of my group members from Pretty Ricky in four years. Okay. I start having these dreams. Okay. That I was back on the stage with Pretty Ricky. Mm. I ignored it. I kept having these dreams. But in these dreams, it was like it was a light around me. Now, at this time, I'm 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 I'm, I'm straight man to God. You feel me? Okay. I see this light around me. And I'm not going to call his him by name, but one of the group members... I seen something happening to him in his dream. Where God was like, "Yeah, I need you to tell him about me." Mm. So I was like, right, "You set it up. We good." Yeah. Now I ain't talked to these guys in years, man. Wow. They heard that I didn't, you know, change got, it up. Yeah, change it up the game, and yeah. you know what I'm saying. And I ain't talked to them. So, bro, literally, I get a phone call from a promoter. His name is Jamal. Okay. My boy. I get a phone call from him out the blue. Yo, J. Long, I want to bring you to London with Pretty Ricky. I can't get in contact with nobody else. Wow. And I know he knew me through a mutual friend, another, right. another singer. And he was just like, I'm trying to bring Pretty Ricky, J. Holiday, and Day 26 to London. Okay. And you know what I'm saying? Can can you know, can we make this happen? Yeah. So I was like, hey, man, I'm going to hit you back. Okay. As soon as he said that, I knew what it was. Right. I said, all right, man, it's your opportunity. Yeah, go speak. Cause you bought to fulfill the purpose that I sent you to Pretty Ricky first in the first place. Right. I need you to deliver a message, and you're the person to do it. Oh. I picked you to do it. Yeah. I heard you when you asked me in the car. Yeah. But now you see what I answered you and why I gave you that. Okay. So these guys seen you in that light. Yeah. Now they finna see you in the light I want you in. Nice. So they seen you in darkness first, let's just, they, cause it wasn't light. Right. They seen you sinning, they seen you doing this, but now they about to see you in a whole nother light. How they look at you today? Oh, it's respect. All respect. It's all respect. Everybody done grew up. Everybody done grew up, man. Yeah. Um man, I I I I will I will say that I am proud because like I don't I don't I don't first off, I don't pass judgment. And me knowing them yeah. personally, they've grown. Somebody might look at them and still be like, man, yeah. but those boys you know have grown. Them, yeah. right. I know them. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm, I I know them. Uh, Slick actually came into town. He went to church with me. He stayed with me for a couple of days. He went to church with me. Nice. And um, me and Speck, man, me and Speck, he just FaceTimed me the other day. I still stay close to the guys. I love them. They're like my brothers, man. Right. So, you know, and uh, like I say, we I actually got my opportunity to, to rock out with my boys one more time nice. in London. Yeah. And we, we did the tour in London. Tour and it was down. Great. And I actually got to do what I was supposed to do okay. in the first place. So, J Long, this new creature. Right. What is he working on? What's 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 new? What's up with J Long? Well, see, the the, the uh the, the the mission is man, I, I love music. Okay. And music. who you got with you? It's Prince Well, man. It's it's the producer, man. He uh, I I I taught him how to how you was how you was when I taught you how to make beats, man. He probably was like eighteen, something mm -hmm. like that. Did he so, really lose his mind back in the day? Keep it real. I wouldn't say he lost his mind. He just got strayed from the path. Okay. He being nice about it. Yeah, he, he, he you know lost your he mind know, when he the know who write his checks. Yeah, he yeah. know who signed <laughs> his checks. So he 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 know not to say nothing too crazy. All right. So what, so what's going on with you now? Man, right now, man, I'm I'm gonna put it to you like this. Yeah, everybody not gonna understand this. Okay, but I have a calling, and I have so called celebrity friends. Okay, who certain people look at right celebrities. I mean, from the biggest names to the just coming out names. Okay, and some of these guys are actually get on stage, and girls will get on stage, and they'll be like, "I want to thank God." Uh, yeah, and they really don't know. Who God is. Nice. They don't know Christ. Yeah. They don't know. Yeah. They just doing something because it's trendy. That's they what you're supposed to say. That's right. what you're supposed to say. Right. You know what I'm saying? And God is sending me back. He's giving me the green light mm -hmm. to go back to this industry and, mm. and, and, and share. Yeah. Share who Christ really is with some of my my so-called celeb friends. So that sounds like we got music in the works. You got a yeah. producer in here. Yeah. You got so-called celebrity friends you need to go be a fisherman for. Right. And not just celebrity friends, whoever. People, whoever, period. People, period, man. That's what this is about. So you in the studio? Man, we working, man. We working. So we just finished the uh, album. Okay. The album is called Evolve. 
uh, and that's we spell it E V E L. Hold, I know how we spell it. E. No, it's spelled D E E V O L. That's love spelled backwards. Okay, but we call it evolve. Okay, sorry, my, my spelling got a little cra- yeah. carried away. So, uh, what can we expect on the album? What, what, man, how's your sound? Your sound is like. Uh, nah, it totally kind of changed, man. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh. The records are bigger. Okay. Uh, we speaking on love. You know what I'm saying? We speaking on real life situations. And, and it's pretty much my life on wax. Are we in an era of of trap music and bangers and beats and you speaking on love? You know what? That's that's what I believe in, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm not really the type of dude to, to follow a trend. Man. If I, if, if I can't, if I don't believe it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't finna do it. Now, we have fun. We we do records and we have fun. You know, we just did the uh, the, the record with Juvenile. We having fun. The whoa, fun. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Blessbees.com, Jay Long in the bill. You did a record with Juvenile. Juvie the Great. 409 Degrees. Louisiana. Louisiana. Hot New boy. Orleans. New Orleans. What kind of record you do with him? Man, we redid his 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 his, his smash hit back the thing up, man. You know, he blessed me with a verse. So we we had fun on it. But you know, that's just a fun record. You yeah. know, the album don't sound like that. Okay. But you know, I just needed something to really kind of, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But break up the monotony. Yeah, you feel me? If I said that right. Yeah, you go. <laughs> so yeah, we got that record, man, and uh appreciate appreciate you for jumping on the record for the little homie. All right, so album in in the works. Right. You is this still four years or five years removed? Uh, because the this game has changed a lot now. It, it didn't change, man. But you know what's crazy, man? What's for me will be for me because I have a purpose, and I'm not walking under my own merit. I'm not doing this on my own will. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, I totally know that I'm under God's will. So where I'm supposed to be, I will be. Where I'm not supposed to be, I won't be. Who's supposed to heal me? will hear me yeah. this ain't about me being famous yeah. this ain't about me being rich it ain't about that so you the first time you, you when you say you kind of lost your way lost right. your mind you shunned your own family you got you got family with you this time so that yeah. that show is growing well, let me let me let me let me tell you something man uh to get even a little deeper um because like i told you uh around the time i first got into pretty ricky yeah uh i told you my son uh, you know, my girl was pregnant with my son at the time. Okay, and uh, man, I totally lost them too, man. So they were gone. Okay, I haven't had my son in the same household with me since I was since he was six months. He's eight years old now. Oh wow! So uh, not only did I lose them, but that was gone. And at the time, it didn't really it didn't phase me. Now I've always been a good father. Yeah, but I wasn't. You know, the family thing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want no one chick, man. I got. You J Long. I got yeah. celebrities jumping in my DM, yeah, man. You sure. know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, man, I ain't whatever. Right. But uh I, I'm happy to say that God has totally restored my family, not only with them, but my family. What kind of what kind of music you putting out? Beats while you producer, right? Yeah. Okay, well what what's your sound? What what inspires you? What kind of what kind of beats we can we hear on a J Long project? Man, futuristic, hmm. soulful. Mm. Just fun records, man. Okay. You know, just make you feel good when you hear them. Y'all spend a lot of time in the studio together? A lot. Bro, a day. Bro, a lot. Like, that's the honeycomb. That's it, bro. That's it. We work, man. We work. We work. And um, we write a lot of records for other artists, too. So I was just about to ask that. Yeah. All right, so and I, almost lost, I almost forgot that I wanted to say that. You got your celebrity friends or your people mm-hmm. in your world that's not so Christian. Right, some of them, yeah. So, it's safe to say you willing to go and be a fisherman for real. You you'll go put out whatever it takes to get to get to it. Like not whatever, okay. But um, it's gonna be safe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's gonna be safe. Uh, now you would never hear me in my records talking about cheating or being with right. more than one woman. Right, right. Look, right. I'm a faithful man. Yeah, and some people call me lame for that. But look, I love one chick. Okay. I don't do the groupie thing. Yeah. I'm down for one chick. Yeah. And that's what it is. But the cool thing is, nowadays it seems like it's cool to have a lot of women. Oh, the side chick is the side chick yeah. gets just as much love now that I left home <laughs> <laughs> to be with my side piece. <laughs> nah, we ain't doing the side piece thing. Well, I mean, I, you definitely can see the growth, and and I I think that's 
I applaud you for that because you're breaking down the barrier. This is my opinion. You're breaking down the the barrier of saying, man, I got to be a secular artist. I got to be a Christian artist. Right. You're just an artist. I'm just an artist. Bro. So your music can your music can play anywhere. I mean, I I I sing what I feel. My 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 music is my life on wax. Right. So whatever I'm going through at that time, yeah, that's what I'm finna sing about. When we you said is this album that you're working is it out yet or it's not out? It's yet. not out yet. Yeah, we actually got some situations on the table and we just trying to figure out and put it in the best people's hands. Which leads me to my perfect segue since your music ain't out yet and we hey. can't really put it out there. We got a lot of Pretty Ricky fans that's watching this on BestBeats.com. And uh, we're going to get a little live. We're gonna, I'm, I'll play a track. Okay. You can already guess what track I'll play. Probably one of y'all biggest records. Okay. You got to bless the people with a little old school for us right here on BestBeats.com. Can we do that? Let's do it. All right, let's introduce this thing. Still all new, 93.7 The Beat. Hey. j Long, formerly of Pretty Ricky hey. in the building. Uh, Memphis 10. Hey, I once was a uh, honorary member, but I digress on that. Here hey, we go. Hey, 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 hey. We, we, we ain't even five in the morning no more. Huh. So, let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about G O D. It's your boy J O N G. Hold up, hold up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about you and me. It's your boy J L O N G. Huh, huh. Man, we can't do that, man. I'm, I'm, I'm having memories. Yeah, man. I'm trying to take you back there. Yeah. J Long, formerly of Pretty Ricky, changed man, still putting out music. Y'all definitely gotta follow him. Tell everybody how they can get in touch with you, social media wise. Man, just Google me, man. J dot L O N G, man. It all pop up. Twitter. <laughs> Twitter, J Long J Fam. Everything is J Long J Fam. J L O N G J F A M. Everything, Instagram, Twitter, all that. Well, that's what it is right now. People, blessbees.com. If you're watching this on your smartphones, if you're watching this on your laptops or your desktops, Jalong, go ahead, stretch your hands to to your your screen, and and pray us out of here, man. Let's get it, Father God. We just say thank you, thank you for allowing us to come together as men, and and for every eye and every ear. That's listening and watching, Father God, I just pray that whatever they're going through, whatever they're asking you, whatever they're going through in the midnight hour, Father God, whatever it is, Father God, that you will hear them and bless them. And Father God, I just pray for everybody, everybody under the sound of my voice, Father God, everybody under the sound of my voice. Father God, everybody under the sound of my voice, Father God, this platform that we on right now, Father God, that this platform that it just grows, Father God, for what you're doing with this platform, Father God, I pray that it grows in the name, in your son's name, we pray, Father God, amen. Smith is 10 right here on Y'all Do 93.7 The Beat. God bless the beats.